Once upon a time, in the time of the 16th century, churches were created to gain the attention of the people and to convince them into their churches. A way that churches tried to get people's attention was by using art. Paintings were used as propaganda by the church as well as artists who wanted to portray the message to the people. Artists and churches were almost like allies that wanted to be known. This act calls for the Protestant Reformation. The Protestant Reformation, Counter-Reformation, and Growth Movement gives some insight on what influenced Peter Paul Rubens to create his painting of the abduction of the daughters of Luther. Within the 16th century, the Roman Catholic Church had made an effect to the era of society. The Catholic Church were having difficulties keeping people within their churches and needed the Protestants to help them. The Catholic Church had asked for the Protestants to a meeting to discuss the problematic situation. However, the Protestants failed to attend the meeting and thus leaving the church to defend for themselves. The Catholic Church turned to art as propaganda to resolve their problem and bring their people back into the churches. According to Tyler Smith in Locals Talk, this reformation occurred in the 16th century, other known as 1517. The Protestant Reformation was founded by Martin Luther, who was a German monk. There were 95 theses that Martin Luther posted. This event was known as the Protestant Reformation. According to History.com, the Catholic Counter Reformation went against the Protestant Reformation. Pope Paul III was considered to be the first pope of this Counter Reformation. Paul brought forth the Council of Trent in 1545 to respond to the problems at hand. The meeting had examined that there was a corruption within the church and that some changes had to occur. The church quickly learned that the Protestant Reformation wasn't much of a help and therefore the church should be reformed from within. There was many changes done to the way that the churches were being managed and rules had changed as well for the prosperity of the people that attended, thus carrying on the times and furthering the growth movement. According to the editors of Encyclopedia Britannica, an early manifestation that occurred in Italy and in some regions such as Germany and South America, which included the Protestant Reformation and the Counter-Reformation. The Baroque period is described as emotional and dramatic period due to artists wanting to emphasize their main ideas to a great extent, where it wouldn't come off as being too violent or too sexual to viewers, using Greek mythology paintings so that it would be acceptable by the public. One of the many famous painters of the Baroque era was Rubens. One of his many famous paintings that was created within the Baroque era was the abduction of the daughters of Lucifer. Peter Paul Rubens created the abduction of the daughters of Lucifer in 1617. It was also known as the Rape of the Daughters of Lucifer. The painting is located in the Alta Pinacothek in Munich, Germany. This painting uses Greek mythology. Castor and Pollux, which are the two men shown, are the twin sons of Zeus. The men are capturing two women that were horseback riding. The sons come off as a godly descent because of the two cupids by their sides. The women are shown in weird positions as if they were meant to be in a dramatic way. They are shown to be resisting and pulling away from the men, which demonstrates that they are being raped. And on a side note, rape means to carry someone by force or without their consent. Within the painting, there are eight figures. Two men are shown each holding a woman. There are two cupids each holding onto a horse. The horses are shown to be behind the two men. The sky is dark in quality to the left hand upper corner. The right hand upper corner shows white clouds. The men are naked while one of the men is wearing armor and the other man is showing their chest and having a black dark blue garment going across his body. One of the women has a red garment underneath her while the other woman has a yellow garment underneath her. In the lens of formal analysis, the painting shows an asymmetrical balance because if the painting were to be divided vertically, there would be an imbalance of elements on each side. There are figures that are shown with great texture, as shown underneath the armpit of the central female. The garments that are shown also betray texture as color shading is taken into consideration. The yellow garment underneath the woman closer to the ground shows a difference in the colors and shades used to help emphasize that the garment is really a silk garment. The painting also exercises overlapping and that the women are shown in front of the men to emphasize their importance and focal point. Peter Paul Rubens was born June 28, 1577 in today's Germany. He passed away May 30, 1640 in what is today Belgium. He is known for his Catholic religion and mythological compositions. Rubens was one of the most leading voices of the Catholic Counter Reformation style painting. When Rubens arrived in Rome, the Baroque era surfaced. 
In 1608, Rubens went back to his father's home place in Antwerp and became a court painter with benefits. He settled to pass away in Antwerp after painting many Baroque, mythological, historical, and allegorical styles. Being that there are two genders used as the focal point of the painting, the critical approach of gender studies was used. Rubens created his work of art during the era of the religion, where men were seen as dominant. During the Protestant Reformation, religion was at an all-time high, and women were looked at for marriage, childbearing, and being domesticated. Religion was strict upon women in that they were mandated to be religious, and their religion oppressed them. According to an article by Barbara Walter named True Womanhood, they said a woman was mandated to be according to the religious laws. Religious laws stated that a woman who was seen as free-spirited was not a woman and should be looked down upon. Greek images were used also to, due to an association with how women were viewed during the Greek era. Greek mythology emphasizes importance and power that men held over the cruel treatment of women. Greek myths showed many scenarios where male gods were given the benefit of the doubt when compared to women. Following after gender studies, cultural studies is something that follows as another critical approach for the Baroque painting. There are some cultures that are somewhat different when compared. The abduction of the daughters of Lucifer was created in 1617 in Germany. This era is different when compared to the current era. Religion controlled the 17th century within Germany. Knowing that religion was a factor within the century, it gives insight that men were seen as superior due to popes and higher power people being men. Currently, in the 21st century, there is gender equality in that women are seen as the same status as men. Also, religion is not seen as something huge as it used to be. Most of today's population is likely not religious. Greek art is seen as something important and popular within the 17th century. To not offend people, artists would use Greek mythology to suffice their overall message to the public without showing disturbing images. Concluding, the Protestant Reformation, Counter Reformation, Baroque movement gives some insight on what influenced Peter Paul Rubens to create his painting The Abduction of the Daughters of Lucifer. Learning the information that I researched and analyzing the painting that Rubens created, I decided to create my own artwork, which is shown. The artwork that I used is a photograph of a man holding a woman, similar to the painting that Rubens created. Some of the woman's skin is showing whereas the man is fully clothed. The woman is a focal point in that she is overlapping the man. She seems to have been swept up without her knowledge, and the man knows that his intentions are with the facial expression portrayed. The man's facial expression is determined, and the woman's facial expression is serious. The man looks directly at her while she looks away from him and away from the camera to show that she was submissive. Overall, gender studies is heavily portrayed with the two forms of art. The cultural studies of the two different eras are different as well, and that the woman in the artwork is clothed, but with some skin showing. Thus, the animization of the two artworks have similarities with gender studies, but are culturally different.